You know, in the end, we're all narcissists, but there is a difference between varying forms of narcissism. Hey there, NJ, Route22.com in my zero degree uh, basement recording studio. Here I have a better mic now, and I, I hopefully that I don't have any more problems with uh, the, my mic cutting out. But anyway, we recently did a video about digital narcissism or something like that, about how, uh, you know, the new technology era we're in and how technology specifically and more specifically than that, the smartphone and social media and, and even video games are all meant to, you know, psychologically hook you and profit others. I would think that most people who, who use such technology don't really know the mechanisms behind this whole racket, this brain racket, but even those that do know, oh yeah, they're just, uh, addicting us. They don't really care. They, they enjoy the addiction. Sort of like a cipher or whatever in the matrix when he, he wanted the freaking steak to be in the matrix and be powerful. I mean, that was, that was a very good, uh, analogy to what I'm talking about here, but I've been thinking about this and I realized that we're all narcissistic and I'm freezing here. I got the, it's like zero degrees where I'm filming this and I'm only wearing like sweatpants and a thin jacket. But anyway, all human beings are, are narcissistic to a degree, or you could even call it, you know, self-absorbed. Like for instance, we eat to keep ourselves alive and we have a job to earn money to buy us things and, uh, or to have a house for instance, to live in. And even people who are like big on charities, they do it for their own, you know, oh, good pat on the back, you know, hey, good job with that. Thanks for helping the homeless. It feeds their own ego. You know, even things you do in your spare time are for your pleasure. Oh, I, I enjoy watching sports or I enjoy watching movies. I enjoy it. It's all about me, 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 me. So there's, there's like the basic simple survival, which I wouldn't necessarily call like narcissistic. It's just, you know, survival. Um, and then there's people who are borderline psychopaths and sociopaths and hardcore narcissists, me, 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 that look at me, I'm going to do it for me. I'll stab someone in the back for me, me, me. At the same time, you can also, you know, justify all this and say, you know, we're, we're, everybody dies. So why don't we just do whatever we feel like living for our short time on earth? There is a line, I think, between people who do things for their own survival and, you know, how technology, you know, accelerates and amplifies the whole narcissistic realm of society. I think it's gotten, you know, I've jabbed the apps and the uh, social media things and then people, you know, the selfies were never this big 30 years ago. You know, people weren't just taking pictures of themselves all the time. It seems like everybody's alone and they're just taking pictures of themselves, you know, at a nice uh, background or horizon or skyline or sunset. I really think this whole narcissistic uh, acceleration has happened in a very short time. And I think the parameters have changed a lot too. I mean, anybody can become recognized now. You know, you can have an unattractive person if they lift their shirt up and they're popular on some sort of dating app or hardcore, you know, pornographic thing. And uh, everybody can become like, I call it, call it a mini celebrity. I'm a mini celebrity. I get likes and everybody's competing with, with each other for likes and they get these dopamine hits and you can find an audience for anything like kids, fat kids in the basement of their parents' house can get big recognition or sometimes even win millions of dollars by playing video games. So technology has uh, expanded our ability to become mini celebrities. It used to be your group of friends or your neighborhood. Now it's, it's anywhere for any subject. It doesn't have to be just the weird kid because even the weird kid now has an audience somewhere, except for us, you know, because we speak the truth. It seems like that's the least popular thing on planet earth. Now it's, it's unreal. But what happens is once these people get their mini celebrity dome, celebrity dumb, celebrity, whatever, they then feel obligated to keep it going because they don't want to lose that, that, uh, status. And no one wants to lose their status as, uh, the king of something or, or a popular person, or people are talking about them. And, and, and I don't know, it, it's, so they end up, it shapes them and their future. Now I'm, everything I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a picture of. That's why everybody takes pictures of their food 
at uh, when they go out to eat somewhere so they can tell someone they went to this new place a new restaurant it's like the technology has really kind of ruined it um, whereas you would just wait till you saw your friend the next time you wouldn't call all your friends when you went to a new restaurant you were one of the first people. Hey, I went to this place. They had great sushi. Did, 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 did. I went to this new place. Like, the technology has made it pr profoundly easy. You just send out one message. It's like lazy. And everybody's, oh, you went there. How was it? And people used to do dumb stunts, you know. Oh, I'm going to jump over this, uh, this uh, creek in my BMX bike. And now, you know, people d do dumb things uh, for their social media files. I'm going to hang off this building. And then they end up falling and dying. The bottom line is like tech has artificially enhanced all this narcissism and made people bigger narcissists than they probably possibly could have been in the past. There are benefactors for you being an idiot. It's people who make these platforms and these social media apps and so on. They're the ones getting rich off you taking advantage of your psychological weakness for not understanding what's going on here. It's like this weird Bermuda Triangle. It's happening to everybody. I, I, I wish I could explain it better, but I think um, perhaps maybe this is a, a, something that we have to go through to learn more about the human mind and everything else. So I'm sorry, I'm freezing my butt off here. So my, if my speech has been jittery and or whatever i just i can't uh i have to get the i have like such a small window to film these things so i have to take advantage of the moment so please hit the like and subscribe if you have any suggestions or anything i can do better here let me know and i'll see you next video